Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hello, everyone, and welcome, or hopefully it's welcome back to USA Global TV and radio. I'm Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck, and I am the founder and president and chief listening officer here at our network. Welcome to my Talking Heads segment. In case you're joining us for the first time, this particular segment, the series, is about teaching people to listen at an elevated level. We've covered a number of different topics so far, and you can find these lessons if you've missed any of them over on our YouTube channel under the playlist, which is called Talking Heads 2022 or Talking Heads Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck. Today, we're going to be talking about masculine and female energies and how we can correlate these energies with our listening skills. So for those of you who are not aware, we have both masculine and feminine energies. And depending on various situations or maybe our learned response to certain things, we may show up on a regular basis as more of one than another. And when we're in either the masculine or the feminine, we may be listening in different ways. So we're going to take a look at some role plays. Of course, as always, you know how I like to use videos so that we can look at something to be able to understand it and how we might be demonstrating this in our own behavior. But before we do that, a little bit of background. My goal in teaching you how to listen is because I feel that there's a great need in this world today for people to actually stop what they're doing and be fully present for another person. And while this is not possible all the time, when we make this opportunity to be fully present, it is with focus and dedication and concentration, and it's truly a gift. So when someone gives you that gift, please honor it please thank them and then pay it forward and do it for someone else. So for those of you who don't know me, I am acting in my masculine energy a lot of the time. And it actually was brought to my attention by one of our team members, Madeline Chan. She's amazing. And I wasn't even aware of the fact that I'm in sort of a go, go, go mentality, drive through, make everything happen. And this doesn't mean that that can't happen in the feminine energy, but the feminine energy, at least for me, is more soft. It's more quiet. It's it's showing up in a different way. And I am by no way an expert on masculine and feminine energies. My area of expertise is listening. So I want to show you the first of four different scenarios in which I am going to demonstrate one of the energies at either a high vibration or a low vibration. And let's see what's coming up for us in our bodies as we watch. So this is gonna go straight through. The first scenario is me in a feminine high energy. The second is the masculine in a high energy. And then the third is the feminine in a low energy, low vibration, and the fourth is the masculine in the low vibration, low energy. So then we'll have a chat about all of them. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. I'm happy to answer. And let's take a look at what I put together. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the meeting today. Thank you so much for being on time. Everyone looks so happy. I see your smiling faces, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your loyalty and all of the hard work that you do here at our company. It's because of you that we have the clients that we have who keep coming back to us. So thank you so much. Let's get the meeting started. I just want to start off by saying thank you for all the work that you've done to date. It's greatly appreciated. That's in the past. 
we are moving on because we have new deadlines, new budgets, and I expect everybody to be on their toes because we have a lot of things that we have to accomplish for our shareholders. Okay, let's get started. The first task that we need is for somebody to volunteer to take us into the plant and give us a tour of the latest equipment that we have. Who's going to do that? I tried, I really did, but it never works out for me. No matter what I do, nothing works out for me. I don't know what the problem is. I'm here, I show up, but it always falls apart. Just sick of it. You know what? I've had enough of you sick of this house. Nothing's clean. I come home. The kids are screaming and yelling. I've been working all day. What are you doing? Just taking up valuable air and space while everything's on me. I'm the one who has to pay all the bills. I'm the one who has to deal with my boss. And what are you doing? Eating bonbons and watching soap operas? Yeah, I've had enough. Well, I hope you enjoyed those four scenarios as I did. I was directed by Madeline Chan. So when we think about the first one, sweet, soft voice, uplifting, thanking everyone, making sure that people feel that they have been heard, that they're being acknowledged. Oh, it feels so nice. Even in my body as I was doing that, it just felt nice. I don't know how that felt for you. So when you are in an opportunity to communicate with someone else, whether you are the speaker or the conversation partner, whichever you are, think about how you're showing up. So that was female high energy. And the second one was the male high energy. So as in the male and the masculine energy, I was very much to the point. I still thanked people. Thank you for coming to the meeting. Thank you for what you're contributing. But I was very direct. There wasn't any softness and niceness. It was just, okay, boom, boom, boom. Let's get it done. Designate tasks. Who's going to do it? The third one was the feminine energy, low vibration, almost like I was a victim. Poor me woe is me, nothing ever works out for me. And you can feel this in your body, you start to just shrink almost, like instead of standing tall, now you're getting smaller and smaller because your confidence is low and people can see that. The, the other party reacts to that. And it's kind of like, what do you want the other party to do with that information and with the body language that you're delivering? And the last one, last one was masculine energy, low vibrations. And this was kind of, whew, take a step back. This person is just filled with anger and they're taking it and dumping it onto the other person. So now that we've watched them and I've described to you what it felt like and what I actually was acting in, I want us to watch it again. And let's see if you take away anything else. Really think about how are you feeling What's coming up for you? Are you thinking, oh my gosh, I want to know more. I want to get to know this person. Are you thinking, oh, I hope I don't ever encounter somebody like that person. And then we'll look at it, how we, we actually adapt these energies and vibrations into our own behavior. All right, here we go. We're going to take a look again. Hello, everyone. And thank you for coming to the meeting today. Thank you so much for being on time. Everyone looks so happy. I see your smiling faces. And I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your loyalty and all of the hard work that you do here at our company. It's because of you that we have the clients that we have who keep coming back to us. So thank you so much. Let's get the meeting started. I just want to start off by saying thank you for all the work that you've done to date. It's greatly appreciated. That's in the past. 
we are moving on because we have new deadlines, new budgets, and I expect everybody to be on their toes because we have a lot of things that we have to accomplish for our shareholders. Okay, let's get started. The first task that we need is for somebody to volunteer, to take us into the plant and give us a tour of the latest equipment that we have. Who's going to do that? I tried, I really did, but it never works out for me. No matter what I do, nothing works out for me. I don't know what the problem is. I'm here, I show up, but it always falls apart. Just sick of it. You know what? I've had enough of you sick of this house. Nothing's clean. I come home. The kids are screaming and yelling. I've been working all day. What are you doing? Just taking up valuable air and space while everything's on me. I'm the one who has to pay all the bills. I'm the one who has to deal with my boss. And what are you doing? Eating bonbons and watching soap operas? Yeah, I've had enough. Okay. There it was the second time. What was coming up for you? Were you thinking to yourself that you really would like to interact with one of these four scenarios? Or were you thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, if I ever had to deal with somebody in the last example, uh, I'd have to run for the hills. So throughout my career, I've been in corporate America, most of my career retired in 2020. I was told many times by people that I was very driven and really was like one of the guys. And in a dating situation, I had guys tell me many times, where's the nice soft Jackie? And I would say, Jackie doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> and I didn't even realize how I was always showing up in the masculine energy. And in that masculine energy, I was listening in a different way than if I was listening in the female energy. So what does that mean? So when I'm listening to someone in the female energy, it's sort of all hearts and roses and I'm here for you and I love you and I welcome you and I honor you in the masculine energy. It's like, tell me what you have to tell me and get it over with. Cause I have things that I have to do. So as elevated listeners, and that's my goal for each and every one of you is to listen at an elevated level. We have to take those two scenarios, those two different types of energies, and we have to look at how can we show up to be the best possible listener that we can. And that means taking whatever is going on with us, the emotions that we have, and we have to put them to the side. So if you ask me for 10 minutes of my time, so you could share something and the whole time in the back of my head, I'm thinking, why doesn't she get to the point? Why doesn't she hurry up? Why does she keep going on and on and on? When is she going to get to the part where I can come in and provide the solution? In masculine energy, that's what we do a lot. We try to come up with a solution for someone. But as you know, if you've been following me and my lessons, our job as an elevated listener is to provide no solution whatsoever. No one asked you for a solution. You're not to provide a solution. Now, in the female energy role, where we're kind and considerate and the time is, take all the time you want. No, that's not going to work either because we have things that we have to do in our life. So as much as we want to be there for you, be a sounding board, we don't have endless amounts of time to be in this role. In addition, it's also exhausting. If you're truly listening to someone at an elevated level, and you know, I have 28 shows a week and I work seven days a week. I have meetings all over the weekends, listening to people. I am listening at a high level. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just listening. So I have had to adapt my own listening behavior to make sure that I am not in my male energy specifically or my female energy, as opposed to just being fully present. And it's not about what I need to come from the conversation. It's about what you, my conversation partner, what you need, what you've asked me for. You've asked me for my time and for my attention. 
So we don't have any questions or comments, so I'll just continue on. Now, knowing that there are masculine and feminine, female and male energies, how can you incorporate this knowledge to help you be a better listener? And I'll give you an example. Most of the day, Monday through Friday, I'm in the go, 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 go mode. And when somebody wants my time about something other than what it is I'm in the throes of, I'm pretty much in my masculine energy. And so I might not be able to give you all of my attention because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about, I've got to get this done. I'm already late on this. Somebody needs a contract for that, et cetera, et cetera. So I have been able to take my abilities in terms of listening at an elevated level and say to you, Steve, I want to be here for you and listen at a high level. Right now, I'm in the drive mode. I'm in the A mode. I've got to get these things done. And it's not going to be fair to you. It's not going to be fair to you. I can give you about four minutes right now, but I know that you need more. So how about if we schedule some time when I can be fully present and I'm not concerned with what's on my clipboard about what I have to get done today. And Steve may take that in a wonderful, gracious, gracious, grateful way and say, the fact that you want to give me more than four minutes of your undivided attention is truly a gift. Let me set up that time with you. Or Steve may say, you know what? I'm going to take the four minutes right now because I just have to get this off my chest and you're here. So I'm just going to dump it on you. That's an option as well. So, excuse me, but your conversation partner has to realize now that you have an agreement. The agreement is to the four minutes and knowing that I am in my masculine energy and I'm just going to be looking at that watch and you've got four minutes and that's the end. So it's up to the other person as to how they want to manage that agreement that you have. In the best case scenario, you would schedule a time that is later when it's better for both of you. And then I don't have to be concerned about my agenda, my schedule, and my drive to get things done. So I hope that makes sense. And thank you, Nicole. I appreciate your comment over on LinkedIn. Fabulous. Okay. So now what about the feminine energy? And I see this happen a lot, especially with people who always put other people before themselves. And I'm not judging. I'm just giving you my observations. So we all know people like this. They, they never want to disappoint anyone. They always want everyone else to be happy. And so as a listener, and it could be male or female showing up in the female energy, as a listener, they their goal is to make you happy. I want you to be happy. And in doing so, they're not actually following the rules of engagement for elevated listening. So what ends up happening? There is no agreement. You're there as the listener, your conversation partner starts sharing whatever it is. And now since you don't have any commitment about how long this is going to be, the person goes on and on and on and on and on. But you as the listener, you're a nice person. You're a good person. You're a kind person. You're not going to interrupt this other person, but inside you're getting really angry, but you're happy. So happy that you're here, but mad. Why did I agree to do this? She always does this to me. He always does this to me. And I have things I have to do, but I'm still here and I'm so nice and I'm so happy, but yet you're not. So the whole time you're conflicted and you're actually no longer fully present for the other person because now you're in your mind. And now you have this, literally it's like a duel, a fencing duel between you and what's going on in your mind. And you're not giving the conversation partner the respect he or she, they deserve and have asked for and that you've agreed to. So think about that going forward. How are you showing up? What energy are you in? And is it the best time and the most effective time for you to be there for someone else? As I mentioned many times, we cannot be fully present 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's not possible. And it's too, it's physically exhausting to do that. So I'd like you to think about this. When can you 
be there for someone else. What if the other person, the conversation partner, isn't watching these programs? What if they're not taking courses on how to listen and they don't know the rules of engagement? They are just used to being in a conversation with you. They live with you, they work with you. And now all of a sudden you're asking for certain things, certain time commitments, certain uh, abilities to show up without doing anything else. This might be somewhat alarming, upsetting, confusing to the other person. So is it your role to educate every person with whom you're gonna have a conversation about how to listen at an elevated level? I don't think so. I don't think if you want to have a network of people and you want to you want to enjoy relationships with other people, we can't change anyone else. All we can do is work on ourselves. So, you can set the tone for the conversation by taking charge and saying what it is you are able to do and not able to do. Steve, I'm not able to have a conversation with you right now because I can't be fully present. I'm actually uh, looking at my phone. I have to look through some things. Oh, I don't care if you look through your phone while I'm talking to you. So you have the option as the elevated listener to let the other party, let Steve know that it's not possible for you to scroll through your phone and be fully present. And you wanna show Steve the respect that Steve deserves. So let's schedule some time to have that conversation. Any other questions or comments you might have, please do reach out to me. I'm easy to find. I'm on drjacqueline.com. Contact us. I'm on usaglobaltv.com. Contact us. I'm also on Thinkific. You can find my courses there, The Power of Listening. And I invite you to think about your own listening skills and how you can take them to an elevated level. I've been doing a lot of additional research on listening skills and what seems to come through over and over again by authors from all over the world who have accomplished so much, very successful people writing about listening skills, is it's not taught in schools for the most part. And most people don't practice elevated listening. Yet, we think we're really good listeners. And it's only when you become an elevated listener, that you realize how people have not been listening to each other, even in your own home, possibly in your own workplace, your own circle of friends, how people are over talking one another, interrupting each other, coming up with answers for questions that have never been posed, thinking that for some reason, what I feel is more important than what you feel. So I'm just going to cut you off and take over the stage with stage hogging. So it's been my pleasure being here. If you're enjoying my Talking Head series, please do come back. Each week, it's um, actually my time is on Friday, but this week I'm teaching the Power of Listening course to a large group of people. So I'm doing this Talking Head series now. If you'd like to be considered as a Talking Head, one of our experts from across the world, please reach out to me and I'll have you apply. We can discuss what your goals are. That's all I have for you right now. I just want to share with you a few visuals. So what I was speaking about today, the heart gratification, male and female energies, this is actually from a, a brand new course that Madeline Chan and I are hosting. And you can sign up for it on my website, drjacqueline.com. The course is about uh, an hour and 15 minutes, and you'll learn much more than what you just saw here. And it ends with a guided meditation, which is really beautiful. We also have the power of listening, nature, plants, and shrines. And these courses are open to everyone across the world. It's another way to think about listening. This one is about communing with nature, and you actually will take some seeds and plant them and also build your own personal shrine. This has nothing to do with religion. It's just about getting in touch with nature and then what you can learn about yourself, what thoughts come up for you as you are creating this new entity of life. We also have our elevated listening team, which this is not uh, up to date. We have some more people who've, who've joined us, but you can see the link is right there. Go to drjacqueline.com slash shop, and you can have your certificate 
on our website for people to know that you know how to listen at an elevated level and wouldn't that be great for your business and your personal life we have a new game show coming up called who's listening and this is for our elevated listeners to compete against each other this is coming out in september so we've got some really wonderful opportunities to win things so if you're interested again it all starts with you becoming an elevated listener you can join our community of elevated listening over on drjacqueline.com slash join. And this is an opportunity for you to get a video each month that includes a guided meditation, role plays, fitness tips, and education. So that's the listening community. And then this is the power of listening foundational courses. This is one course. You can get it actually for $30 right now. If you go over to the website, Thinkific, and I'll put that up here. Here it is, the power of listening foundational course. Use the coupon code LISTEN for savings. That's drjacqueline.thinkific.com. It's also on my website, drjacqueline.com. All right, thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it. I'll be coming back shortly. Actually, the next show is also mine. It's Dr. Jacqueline's Book Club, and I will be honoring this book, Timothy Titus Terrence, O'Toole and the Dragon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again. Bye. Thank you.